Peace, kings and queens, gods and goddesses. Welcome back to another reading. I pray you're well. This is actually going to be um, a collective reading, um, a you versus them. So I'm going to pull um, an oracle, one oracle for you, one oracle for your person. And then we'll go ahead and hop into the reading, all right? Make sure you all like up on this video by hitting that thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you subscribe okay hmm. source is guiding me to say first of all thank you to everybody who does support thank you for everyone who does like share comment on the video um definitely as if it resonates and you're taking heed to the messages i appreciate you um but for those of you who really don't rock with me and you continuously send negative energy to my channel to my platform to me you're wasting your time and if i were you i would just click the fuck click the fuck off um, never to return because it's for your best interest okay um i know there are certain attacks on my channel certain attacks on me by certain people known and unknown and um i just i'll never i'll never attempt to figure out why you do it to yourself I won't. You just have to continuously reap the karma and the consequences of your actions. Okay? Anywho, moving forward. Let's get into the message source. Holy Divine Spirit. Go ahead and give me the energy for the collective. Show me the collective. Damn. <laughs> okay the swan a beautiful swan that part um i immediately heard that um india iris song going from an ugly duckling to a beautiful swan i really feel like collective you're being seen right now as someone who is very transformative very confident and sure of themselves um, you're really sensitive to energies and information around you at this time and I feel like that's going to benefit you in any connection not just love I feel like um, there is individuals stressed out about your progress. They're stressed out about your accomplishments and your willpower to press through and persevere through difficult situations or what may seem difficult. Um, but you understand your journey. You understand your path. And with that comes clear discernment and understanding as to why things are happening for you and knowing that they're not happening to you. So that's beautiful. Let's see where your person is. The turtle with the owl. Okay, so this person said, hold, hold, hold on now. Hold on now. Don't come for me unless I send for you, okay? Somebody, this person, it may seem, it may seem like they're trailing behind or they're moving a bit slower than usual, but it's very calculated. This person is definitely in the energy of making wise decisions and understanding that um, um, slow motion is better than no motion. Okay. Let me see. Uh, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Give me one second, because we're going to read these oracles. Let me see. 
15 years of holding the pain. Yeah, some of you guys are doing a major release right now, a major detox, a major. There's energy of just clearing shit out like a flush. Okay. So the first message I got was a turtle. This is on page 105. January 5th may be significant, October 5th, but the turtle reads, so your person could be a Capricorn or a Libra with water placement, but it says here for the turtle, it's an ancient soul grounded, trusting at home in the self. It is wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality. Like the beaver, the turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements. I literally just said that um, simultaneously. This helps to grow and connect them to the deeper truths of life, no matter where their travels lead them. Turtle energy is all great writers. Turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experiences under their shells for later use. The most potent turtle energy helps us close all the other books and begin to tell our own true tale. So when in balance, if they're peaceful, adventurous, and productive, when out of balance slows down to a halt to bring in balance and adventure. Okay, so I definitely do feel like this person is at a a balanced state in this connection. They really feel grounded and they trust you. And they trust you because they trust themselves to make the best decisions. So you guys could be definitely mirroring, mirroring each other in a very healthy way. Okay, I love to see that. Um... Let's see, let's read the swan. Let's read the swan. So things may have taken some time to build up in this connection. You may have been dealing with someone who um, doesn't just jump right into stuff. Like they don't just jump into a connection or they don't just jump into a commitment. They don't just jump into anything, all right? They they really um, ruminate over things um, because this person could have been very impulsive in their past. Oh, excuse the sensor light, y'all. Oh, wow, it didn't even, hold on. Normally, it would have just turned on when I stood up, but okay. Um, okay. So the swan energy, this could be two water signs dealing with each other if I didn't say that as well. Um, it says the swan energy speaks about effortlessness, creativity, effortless creativity, sensitive, mystic, elegant power. The swan represents heightened creativity. In Hindu mythology, the goddess Swar- Saras- hold on. Saraswati? Saraswati, the embodiment of language, creativity, and artistry, rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there, to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting this potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly when the swan card appears your soul is calling for attention for solo time an inner voice is waiting to be heard an inner vision likely to be revealed i love that and i and the turtle speaks about being behind every great writer so I feel like you guys really connect on a spiritual, deep soul level here. Okay. 
When in balance, infinite creative power. When out of balance, agitated, snippy, lacking vision. To bring in balance, solo time, writing. So some of you guys, if you feel like your connection may have been a bit out of balance, it's, it may be because the both of you are craving different things at this time or you're needing different things at this time. You know, like for the turtle to bring it in balance, it needs adventure. For the swan to bring into balance, it needs to be by, it, by itself um, or do some writing such as journaling or, you know, writing in your phone or if you, however you feel the need to do so. Um, I feel like the both of you admire each other for who you are, just period, as individuals. Okay. All right, let's dig in here. Yeah, we're already at 1121. 1121 is very significant. It's about the third time I've seen that this week. Wow. The star. Right off the back, though? That's how y'all come in? Right off the back. Wow. I feel like this is a wish come true, okay, this connection. And you have judgment and you have the moon. You can be dealing with an Aquarius or the opposite sign, Leo. With number 17 breaking down to eight. The both of you guys are completely naked. Look, <laughs> wow beautiful I'm hearing match made in heaven and I'm also hearing holy matrimony okay you guys are equally yoked you guys are literally meant to be the empress wow I feel like you guys are the epitome of a divine partnership or relationship um, <clears throat> there's a lot of uh, strong and solid foundation here a lot of solid ground that I'm, I'm, I'm picking up energetically I'm definitely getting that this relationship has assisted the both of you in healing past life traumas and um, hidden secrets about oneself. Okay, with the moon and the star, I'm just picking up like for the both of you on both sides there there have been things that you may have been ashamed of in the past never to tell a soul things that you even sworn like you would take to your grave that you have opened up to this person about okay you guys have opened up to each other you guys have created a safe space for one another to um, pour in, pour out into each other, and in turn pour into each other. There's an, there's a ridiculous, unbelievable amount of security here. In trust, honesty. There's something about trauma bonding. Okay when trauma bonding goes right, okay? 
not trauma bonding to sabotage one another and be karmic to one another and throw things in the in the other one's face no you guys may have bonded over your traumas due to again feeling safe in each other's company and discerning that this is an environment where you can trust it it's that saying when you know what you don't want you know what you do want and the both of you have been in environments where you felt very unsafe and this ain't it this ain't that clarify the moon You got the judgment and you got the temperance, just period. So with you guys opening up and releasing the releasing these secrets or these unwanted emotions that have been eating you from the inside out cause a pure divine awakening. And this is allowing the both of you or one of you to answer a calling. Um, like I said, there's a lot of balance here. There's patience. There's understanding. Um, you could definitely be a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. You could have Sag and Pluto or Pluto and Scorpio, Jupiter and Scorpio or Sag. But... Um, this is something very beautiful cooking up here. And there's also energy around um, naysayers, four of swords, um, judging you for your past and um, assuming or accusing or uh, thinking that you can never attract anyone ever again because of your past whatever may have transpired i will not spill that tea um but the universe is proving them wrong i feel like you don't even have to do it yeah with the four of swords you don't have to lift a finger okay mm. and i just wanted to go back and say I see when I said I'm not going to spill the tea because <clears throat> I'm getting intuitively feeling energetically and the cards are showing me um, what these deep dark secrets may be and so I won't address it as tea because it's not good um, by any means, but, um, I just see that you're not going to have to lift a finger. The universe has it, has you covered, has this connection covered, has, um, everything that you have laid to rest, um, has not gone in vain. All right. This has caused burdens to be lighter as far as your mental as far as your emotions, as far as your finances, as far as your vision becoming more clear, um, those are the benefits you are um, receiving with deciding to rest and surrender to source. And I feel like you and your divine partner or your your person, you all are simultaneously making this decision to go towards your North Node together. Um, yeah, we have the Emperor with the Seven of Pentacles, so this is investing in one another. Um, and you have the Empress here, so. And I mentioned um, Leo, Sagittarius, um, uh, Aquarius and Leo, and they're both here, so this could be um, a Leo and Aquarius connection, Scorpio Sag connection, Cancer Leo, Cancer Aquarius. 
And we do have Taurus and uh, Libra here too. I also do see that um, you both respect each other's ability to be independent. I feel like that's definitely something you all admire about each other. Show me a two of cups. This is a learning connection, okay? This is, um, I'm hearing you, when you guys communicate, you literally listen to understand each other. You don't listen to respond, okay? I'm also getting to, in this relationship, the both of you have learned to keep whatever transpires within the connection in the connection, okay? I feel like that has been a major lesson learned in this partnership. Because, like I said, I picked up on some naysayers here. Um, the Page of Swords can speak about gossip, all right? Or it can speak about um, ill talk or negative negative um, banter going back and forth from one person to another. Okay, just think about um, telephone, okay? The old game, all right? Three-way calls and shit like that, like, mm-mm. You guys are, you guys have learned to handle hiccups or changes or transformations or situations in the relationship among one, one another. Now, if you do need to seek out external assistance, you are choosing to go to a professional or to whom you feel will actually assist and not be judgmental or one-sided, um, Especially if you um, divulge some information about one another previously. I also see the both of you watching each other's transformation. You got the strength again. So this could be a Leo Scorpio connection or you could have these signs in your chart. Um, but... Like someone's blowing you away or you're blowing this person away. Or again, you guys are changing and transforming simultaneously. And I don't feel like this is planned. It's divine. Okay. It's just supposed to happen this way. I feel like that's what makes this partnership so special because things are happening organically. Oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all do not want to know the song that just came in my head because I don't even want to sing it or say it. <laughs> but, um. A lot of courage. Queen of Cups. The Empress again with the King of Swords coming in. Um, a lot of courage. Um, a lot of strength here within this partnership. It's 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 like nothing can break this partnership. Literally nothing.
somebody has endless love to give and so do you. What's the strength? There could be a Gemini here. Give me one more for the Ten of Swords. Someone has your sloppy seconds and they really think they went in. I'm not going to hold you. Or they thought they were winning and they're learning. <laughs> they're learning a detrimental lesson. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're stuck with this king of pentacles in reverse, which could have been your ex. And there was some adultery. That happened here with a friend of me. They're still together, but they're not happy. This could have been the person that um, was throwing, you know, evil eye or negative banter or thoughts or something. You can definitely have kids with this person. You could work with this person or you can, you can work with the ex or you can work with the person that they're now with. Um, or this king of pentacles is going to attempt to come back. Um, but I feel like they're going to use the children or a child to do so. I also feel like this person is going broke, um, for paying child support. They already don't make enough. And, um. Yeah, they pockets are getting hit, honey. Now they want to heal something. Somebody wants to work something out outside of the court. I hear somebody saying, um, you know, I have to talk. To, or this could be you, you know. You telling this person you have to talk to your new person about that. Or it's just going to be a, 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 it's just going to be a no. No. This person isn't trustworthy. This King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -mm. Yeah, they heard you once, twice, three times, a lady. Okay. Three strikes, you're out. You could be pregnant at this time. You're starting a new family or you and someone new. You're blending families. You guys get along very well. Okay, you're collaborating with somebody new. And what is the um, star? Excuse me. Um, I definitely feel like you've healed. You or your person have healed from being under someone's thumb 
or someone attempting to continuously hold you back from your purpose, um, continuously attempt to hold you back from healing, continuously attempted to keep you inebri inebriated or gaslit, confused, um, okay, this is somebody who was penny pension, or you would always have to ask someone for money, or okay, I'm hearing an allowance or something, um, something as small as wanting to buy you something to eat, um, I don't know. I just see someone getting free from under someone's thumb with this uh, fool. You and your children. Heavy Scorpio energy. You can have Uranus and Scorpio, Venus and Scorpio, Sun and Scorpio. Or, or all three, shit. But you're happy now, you're free, your faith has been restored, no more confusion, all right, wrapped around who you are, all right, I feel like someone was trying or attempting to brainwash you, uh, make you forget your purpose, make you forget um, who you are, your self-worth, your value, it's, it's, um, yeah, somebody was attempting to keep you, like, in a impoverished mindset, it's like, I understand wanting to be, you know, financial, financially literate and know how to save money and, you know, things of that nature. But I'm picking up more so of a, um, like this person would put negative thoughts in your head around money, just in general, like make you fear money or fear spending money or, I don't know, like this person would tell you milk is $10 and you finally go to the grocery store on your own and you see that it's about $5 and you're like, the fuck? I don't know, like someone kept you just in the dark and now you found the light, you found your North Star with someone, this new person. Give me the Empress, please. Queen of Swords, Three of Cups, Heavy Libra. The Hermit. Some of you guys could have Mercury and Cancer. But, um... One more. Hmm. Beautiful. Congratulations on a wedding, a pregnancy, a new partnership, a new spiritual journey. A new, uh, it's a lot of new, new, a lot of celebration, a lot of happiness, smiles, deep conversations, okay, happy tears, joy. Um, some of you guys can be going into a spiritual marriage. Yeah. Three major arcana, tower, chariot, and justice. Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, Libra. Some of you guys may be choosing the route of a spiritual a spiritual marriage rather than a um, a courthouse wedding or a wedding that is governed by the state. Um, I'm just hearing somebody say, I've been there, I've done that. I see the stress that it brings. Um, is is okay. So you all are 
maneuvering around the system or around the um, the stereotype around not getting married on paper because, you know, the saying is, oh, well, if anything happened to your partner, God forbid, there's nothing you can do or this, that, and the third. No, there actually are things you can do. And the covenant is still under God. Okay. And I'm going to just leave that there. Um, there's an agreement here. There's a coming together and there's just in love. There's balance. There's forward movement. Okay. Triumph. This just looks really good. Despite the tower here. But I feel like this tower is in the past. And this is your your learning. You've learned from that tower. Just period. So another example would be um okay. I just heard that's 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 a that's a private reading. <laughs> that's a private reading. <laughs> okay, I just want to clarify this tower. Page of Cups. Four of Swords again. And the Emperor. Mm -hmm. I knew this Emperor was going to show up. I just didn't know when exactly. So it could be this Emperor's idea to do a spiritual wedding. Death card could be a Scorpio. Yeah, I cannot make this up. Four of Wands. Or an Aries. Tower energy. <laughs> okay. So endless cycles, good times, the void, and unique skills. So with 2323, this brings about charisma, communication, um, society, movement, journey, repetitive circumstances, and patterns. All right. So there's some truth you're resisting to accept over and over again. I feel like that is ending because you have 2424. That's forward movement um you're realizing your worth okay and what you deserve all right this is leisure rest holiday pleasure love affection kindness happiness i feel like you've accepted these truths whoever i'm connecting with that's how you're able to move forward to the good times Okay, some of you guys could be getting proposed to on a holiday. Some of you guys may need to open up to your friends and family. Um, a lot of people are rooting for you, rooting for you in this connection. There's a lot of happiness around you. Um, 2002, longing, technology, ambition, Genius, forward thinking, stress, and depress depression. You have more control over your life than you realize. Learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make. 
So chill out, have fun, and open up. Go outside. So I feel like some of you guys have had, you know, bad situations uh, transpire as it pertains to friends. And the universe is wanting you to know there's plenty, plenty new friends to make, okay? Um, some of you guys can rekindle relationships in your family dynamic, you know? There's cousins that want to reunite with you that you may have, you know, put on the back burner for this last connection or this past connection. And they've been wanting to reconcile and reunite. Um, but, yeah, especially for that swan energy, source is definitely confirming um, it's time for you to go outside. Maybe spend some solo time or for the turtle because the turtle was more adventurous uh, if you're out of balance. Um, and then unique skills, life goals, mission, sense of self, honesty, important projects. So it's time to, it's that time of intense self-development. Focus your mind on your craft. You already have what it takes to succeed, but practice makes you a master. It also serves to find your true purpose. Leveling up in your career or business is a priority right now. Just period. All right, so that's what I have. I pray it helps like the video and I will check y'all on the next one. Bye.